Hello, Garrett, and now my ranger has this thing which splits his experience between ranged and combat magic. This is Dungeon Siege, and now we're going to back over here. That is all. I sold stuff. I'm happy. We're going on an adventure. We're going back to where we were, and we're going to save the world from all the evil mischief that's been running muck around here. And yeah, that is all. Let us continue. Let us continue. There we go. So, as you may remember, everything died when we last left it. Yeah, because we touched the statue of a scary old man in a robe. And now everyone is happy once more. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but this skills recharge below the save game, which is pretty neat. Oh yeah, and they all went into a snake. Which made it throw a few heads. And be a little less um, happy overall. A giant trillis is what it is now. Oh dear, that doesn't look good, now does it? New. No. Not at all. So, let's punch it. Clearly, this is the best way to go. Nothing ever goes wrong with this strategy. So, we shall just simply continue using it, even against our arch nemesis, Malak. Malak. Marlidibibu. Thingy casts a healing spell. I wonder how... Ah. Okay. Let's attack him first. And apparently most of my skills are already recharged as well. That's pretty neat. I wonder if it's just... is a really good way of spamming. I hope the healing spell doesn't hit himself actually, because that would be a problem. Potentially. But it looks like I can just spam my mass damaging attack thing. I should probably move, shouldn't I? Uh, yep, probably should. Oh well. Then, oh well. Then, oh, okay, fine. Invulnerability. Uh, boom. Don't heal. Don't heal. Don't heal. Don't heal. Don't heal. Don't heal. No, 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 no. Ha! That's one hit. So far, the mimic is already more powerful. Oh wow. Um, but yes, so far it would seem that the Mimic was more dangerous than this giant three-headed snake which contained all the evil in the land. Yeah, you know how it goes. I should probably move, shouldn't I? Yep, probably should I. <laughs> oh, well, who needs movement when you can just continue punching. And, yeah, that new snake has dead. This is the most exciting battle to go that move. Yeah, this is not a very exciting boss battle at all. I blame Brood. Level 19. The Mimic was actually a higher level than this thing. That's not ridiculous at all. Not at all. Oh, look, I am a winner. Boom. <laughs> really necessary. Of course. Okay, yellow boots. But first, let's kill the shard. The shard is evil. Shard contained all the evil beasties. Oh, look, portal. That's random. Oh, look, quest people. Hi. Zirin's eyes. What was that? It was a horrible abomination brought about by that shard, clearly. Unbelievable. Where did such a thing come from? I just told... Oh, uh, why? I just... It is the evil work of Valdis and his dark wizards. <laughs> and what of them? Surely you have not found them here, or we would not be having this conversation. No, surely, considering how good your men have been fighting so far. I mean, they've all died against something I could easily kill without even passing out once. <laughs> I mean, they must have passed through this portal. Were you able to kill the creatures outside? You know, the ones I killed earlier? In one attack? Aye. Would that we could have accompanied you up here. Perhaps then we could have caught Valdis in time. Yeah, yeah. So, now he has entered the kingdom of the Northern Reaches. Aye, I'm afraid so. Where in the Northern Reaches does this puzzle lead? It is an elven town called Amanlu. What? Amanlu. Are you well? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I am finally going home. But to what? Well, probably your town being completely devastated by evil and abyss. Right? 
I probably shouldn't have said that, should I? Oh, uh, six of the master. That sounds like something you want. Oh, uh, twenty-two, eighteen, thirteen. Ah, uh, this is much more fun. It has armor. And a jet reagent. But of course, first we must explore all the blue dots on the rate. No, they are. Yes, they are actually. Uh, you punch. First, we would ex must explore all the blue dots on the radar, just in case there's like books and and magic. And if we're going to Amalu, I'm going to have to read a lot of books because I said I would, and I am a man of my word. And after all, who doesn't love a good old book reading, eh? <laughs> Okay, well now, let's go through the portal to Amonlu. Amonlu. What are the odds of one of the people not going through the portal because they were there? I don't really feel like it. <laughs> oh, look, I'm in Amonlu. Oh, no, cutscene. Oh, dear. You know why I have come. I cannot give you the Aegis. I will find it, with or without your help. But it is our sacred charge. The Aegis is my destiny. And the blood of Amon Lu is on your hands. The princess, she has taken it to Snowbrook Haven. Please, spare my people. They spared his people. You have returned? Boy, Stolala! Alvin, what has Valdis done to our town? He came searching for something, and when he could not find it, he flew into a rage. Huh. Hardly any have survived. But you are here? We heard you and Drevin had been assigned to Valdis's vanguard force and were commanded to siege Greylin Isle. Yeah, um. It doesn't really sound like what, what happened in the cutscene. Sounded more like the wizard just kind of raised his hand and went all, Hi, I can summon me too. Ah, oh, whatever. Aye, the battle on the beach was a bloody affair, but I am here now. I have been trying to return home for so long to think that I am too late to defend Amanu. Celeb Hell will be more than glad to have your help. Ooh. He has been within the Altorn Hall ever since Valdis left us ruined. Ooh. Forgive me, they need my help with the wounded. It's good to have you home. It is good to be your princess. Be glad you've never had to see your friends transform into monsters right before your eyes. Yeah, it's much better that all my friends died in demonic hellfire. Thank you, Vex. Bah. I will. Uh, uh, the moment I can get rid of you, I will. I will. Ugh. Mage. Milonaman, Milonaman. you're welcome to look around if you take care where you step. Not all of these spilled items are harmless. If you feel a prickling of the skin on your neck, do not be alarmed. These halls contain many frightened spirits who have not yet found their way across the sacred waters. Uh, spirits? What do you mean? Yes, I have always been in tune in with tune. the ethereal world in a way. I have spent much of my time collecting information about it, and I have even managed to come into contact with a ghostly spirit. This is the wrong avatar for this character. It needs to look more smug, like the way she is talking. Obviously, how do you talk contact to the ghost? Is impossible through normal means. Their words are completely unintelligible to our ears, oh. even if the ghost in question has manifested itself enough to become visible to our eyes. Mm, then hoping to communicate with one seems like a pursuit of folly. Not necessarily. No, of course not. My research indicates that the Vikesh cultists use ancient chants to communicate with the darker spirits. I had no idea. The source of their otherworldly knowledge. If I could know what they spoke during their dark rituals, I think I may be able to figure yes, out... Yes, I am interested. What do you need me to Vikesh do? The Vikesh are much too cunning to simply leave such information lying around. Mm -hmm. I fear that the only way to learn the secret of their chant is to overhear one of their rituals. Seek them out in the Vikesh forests and look for one of their ritual chambers hidden within their caverns. But beware, 
the cultists are the not the only The words themselves can be a threat 